Hello everyone and somebody was asking me how they can create an assembly out of one part uh, using only one part in Epicus. So I'm not going to get into these details so we just jump into the assembly. And we're going to create two instances of that and done and another one. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move it and and uh, what center distance should I use uh, that is according to my gear size so I'm just gonna use it uh, an arbitrary values for here select an axis yeah and uh, then I'm just gonna use the arbitrary values for now because I don't know uh, what center distance it would have here And then done. Did it change something? Yeah, it did. Well, it moved a lot. And now I want to go back to it and uh, let's make it 150 now. Yeah. Okay. Instance to translate and. Uh, I click on this arrow and uh, maybe like 20 more. No, man. So, like, this is uh, why it's imperative to know the stuff that, that needs to be done. So, I'll, I'll just measure it. Um, where did the measure tool go? Uh, distance from here to here so you know, let's say so and we want to find out in z minus 37 wow I should have used like 30 or something so no mind and what's the center distance now Curie distance 1 and 2 that's minus 130 so let's push it around 100 first and then we'll see mm -hmm. this instance and uh, 100 yeah now it's too close but Good luck. We we can we know how much distance it is, so it just needs to be become here. Now we can measure it again, and uh, so that we don't dumb down the entire process. Um, yeah, it, it could come somewhere around here. Minus forty. And, uh, yeah. Instances to translate. I will just select this axis and then minus 14 yeah now look something but to get good results you must have this a very specific center distance because otherwise uh, you won't get uh, the right contact between teeth and uh, it will be dumb down like me so let's just Rotate it and make sure that the gears are now gonna mesh. So we rotate it and uh, instance to rotate. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now we're gonna choose an axis endpoint for an axis. I think I choose something wrong while rotating it. So I'm gonna rotate it this one about this center and then uh, I don't know like what angle it is so I'm just gonna use heat and trial method to rotate so that's two degrees uh, but it should be more right it should be like so previously it was four now it must be like six let's say 
you know it's gone a bit more so we want to push it out a little bit further so that it, it has some clearance here but how much clearance do we need so let's say distance is now the z distance is like uh, distance yeah that's weird i think it's 470 higher mom minus 3 that's like 0.4 so we want to have 0.5 or 0.1 clearance so let's move it again that should be like minus 0.5 Now looks something but it's too tight now but uh, let's find out after rotating the gears a bit uh, yeah I'm, I'm just gonna add some clearance to it mm, one Five, another point five. Boop. That should be minus point five. Now it looks like that we will have some clearance between them, and uh, now we okay, and we want to rotate it so that they are in uh, correct mating position. should I do like minus one so that it rotates back no that should be one it doesn't look much though so we go back and then uh, one one point five yeah so it looks like something like uh, but I'm not sure like if it is too correct or uh, like I can I can add jump just like 1.7 or 1.6 would be fine here 1.6 right now it's like looks like we have a good one so the the good thing about it is that you don't have to mesh it twice and uh, the bad thing about it is like you see all the mess that happened here and I I don't know like if if the center distance is correct or not. So you're gonna be really careful about it. What did I do here? Oops! No, I don't want to find the reference point. I want to find the curie between these two. Yeah, minus seventy one, but. It should always be in points like uh, 71 point something so that the angle of meshing is correct you know like it for now what we did is we, we just created an arbitrary values and uh, there is there, there, there could not be meshing very correctly so you use some some like when you are uh, specifying the gear properties like the module or uh, the, the pitch diameter and everything else then you must have uh, you must have calculated the gear center distance there you're gonna you're gonna make sure that this distance that is here it is that value and if it is not that value then you are doomed and uh, the results will not be correct uh, please let me know if you still need any assistance thank you very much and have a great day bye bye